Kaiser Wilhelm was born on January 27, 1859 in Berlin. He was the oldest child of the daughter of Queen Victoria of the United Kingdom. A difficult birth left Wilhelm with a withered arm, which he always tried to hide. In 1881, after a period of military service, Wilhelm married Augusta Victoria and they had seven children. Wilhelm became Emperor of Germany in 1888 following the death of his father, Frederick II. When he was put into office, Otto von Bismarck was still the German Chancellor. However, he was effectively dismissed from office by Wilhelm two years later in 1890. At the turn of the 20th century, tensions began to rise in Europe. Militarism, imperialism, and nationalism all ultimately helped propel the continent into war. Nationalism can cause intense competition among nations, with each seeking to overpower one another. Also, imperialism made countries fighting for colonies go to the brink of war. The other cause of the outbreak was the policy of keeping an army ready for war, also known as militarism. Kaiser Wilhelm greatly believed in this, and he claims the army was his greatest pride. I and the army were born for one another, Wilhelm declared shortly after taking power. After all the hard work by Bismarck, Kaiser Wilhelm ended most things Bismarck started. Bismarck saw France as the greatest threat to peace. He thought France still wanted revenge from one of their past wars. He isolated France by forming the Triple Alliance. These countries were Austria-Hungary and Italy. Bismarck also made a treaty with Russia. When Wilhelm stepped into office, he let the treaty with Russia run out. Germany still had the alliance with Austria-Hungary, but Russia became allies with France and Italy was slowly moving to that side as well. When the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand happened, it was the breaking point toward war. Austria declared war on Serbia. Since Russia was Serbia's ally, they mobilized among the German border because they knew Wilhelm would help Austria. From there, Wilhelm and his people declared war on Russia and soon later France. Great Britain then declared war on Germany. Much of Europe was now locked in battle, and Wilhelm was in the middle of it all. Surprisingly, Kaiser Wilhelm actually tried scaling back Germany's involvement in the war, but he was firmly dissuaded by the German military. Throughout the battles of the war, Wilhelm's title was Commander-in-Chief of the German Armed Forces. He was essentially a figurehead because the German military operated it under its own control, and Kaiser was much more of a leader prior to the war. By 1918, Germany's ability to win the war basically collapsed. When the U.S. became involved, it took on real form and Germany spun out of control. They were set to lose the war. On November 9, 1918, Kaiser Wilhelm was forced to step down because he was failing to undertake his duties at such an important position. He was exiled to Holland, where he lived for the rest of his life. He wrote two volumes of memoirs in the 1920s that were both published, one in 1922 and the other in 1926. Kaiser Wilhelm II died on June 4, 1941.